Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wolfles here and welcome back to an episode of Cat in the Hat with your friend, Mr. Matt. But my name is actually Rob, but Rob doesn't rhyme with hat, so, you know. You know what? We're turning into a bat. See you later, alligator. Uh, hopefully this is a bat that we turn into. Yeah, okay, good, because, well, it's not raining, but anyways, welcome back to Attack of the Bee Team, guys. Hope you guys are all doing very well. Uh, it's the weekend soon, which is which is fun. It's actually a really late night upload, uh, which is uh, unfortunate for some, but don't worry. This uh, anyone can watch it at any time, so I hope it's okay. Uh, but late night upload swag. Either way, those guys. Before the episode starts, I want to just take a moment to say thank you so much for the support on the last Attack of the B Team episode. It was one of those uh, episodes, very very special episode, and you guys just crushed it. Like seven thousand likes, I think, in a couple days. It's just mind blowing. You guys are awesome, and you always. I don't want to say surprise because surprise implies that I didn't think you guys could do it, but you always just make me smile, uh, and I, I really do appreciate it, and I don't take it for granted, not for a single second. So if you guys want to continue doing that on this episode, I would appreciate it. We got some cool things. We actually got like mini pranked again, which is hilarious, um, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what happened, but it's, it's just something to showcase, not really uh, do. Yeah, it's it's quite funny. It's probably gonna stay there for a while. And um, yeah, we got some cool building and things to do. I, I actually was doing a little bit of work earlier. I went and uh, got another modifier attached to a couple things and uh, got silky on my excavator so I could pick up uh, dirt blocks better for building islands and whatnot. And I also made a hammer with haste and auto repair and that's reinforced, which is super exciting. So uh, just real quick. I wanted to show you guys uh, what uh, happened to me. So I, if you guys didn't know, I was actually live streaming Attack of the B Team. And I've been doing it uh, a little bit recently. I've been live streaming uh, actually quite a, quite a lot, I would say, every couple of days. Um, and I got scared by Corrales, a really cool guy. If you don't, if you don't know him, he's down in the description below. And um, he was on the, the server while I was live streaming. He decided to come down from the moon because he was on the moon. And he was stalking me. And I looked, and I, I wasn't sure what it was, and then I barely saw his afro, and then I looked again, and he just like, he looked really creepy, and I screamed like a little girl. It was amazing. I probably should highlight that moment and save it for history, because it was amazing, and I was like, oh, dude, you got me so good. And then he decided that that wasn't enough, and he came over to my base, and he made sure that, uh, well, I... Excuse my language, but I, I shat my pants when he scared me, so he made me a little porta potty uh, I poop rentals. Keep calm and take a poop. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> I didn't even know that could happen. Hold on, we gotta look. We gotta. Cat in the hat taking a poop. Hold on. That needs to happen. That needs to happen right now. Come on, get cat in the hat, cat in the hat, cat in the hat, and a poop. Oh my god. Cat in the hat taking a poop. Does it get cooler than this? <laughs> Wow. All right, so we got our own little porta potty, which is amazing. Um, and it, I poop for your soup. You're welcome. Love Corrales. That is amazing. I, I thought he had these little poop chunks on the ground. He's got those brown wool forge blocks, like the corners and the nook. It's just brilliant. I love it. So, so awesome. Definitely going to keep that in my dining room for sure. Um, <laughs> anyways, that, that definitely gave me a chuckle. Um, that was just awesome. So uh, that, that's what happened. I've also been doing a lot of Tinker's Construct stuff, just kind of throwing things in here. I've uh, been doing a lot of really good work. Like I said, I got my hammer, and I'm going to be breaking down uh, this wall today. And uh, the reason why is because I don't think it looks, uh, it doesn't look good at all, especially from the outside. And uh, so we're going to be doing a little bit of rebuilding for this area, and I'm thinking we can do something a lot cooler. Like, this is like our glass production area, so I'm thinking we have like some cool glass around it. Instead of uh, the the aluminum and, and uh, I mean, the, the marble and whatnot, and, this, and the cobblestone. So I, I built this thing to, to break it down. It's pretty beefy, uh, and apparently this is glitching me out like crazy. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Oh my goodness, please let me go. Let me free. All right. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of work. Just break down all this stuff um, and do it properly and, and nice and, and fresh. Uh, a lot of you guys are actually... I'm just going to address this real quick. Uh, a lot of you guys are always just like, why do you change your mind so often? And uh, I know the answer because I was thinking about this the other day. And you guys have to remember that I don't use creative mode before I build. I always just build live when I record because I like to enjoy the experience of, of figuring things out with you guys. So that's the main reason. Um, and when you build live, you, know, you make mistakes, you do things that are incorrect. Um, so that's 
kind of the, the main the main reason I guess is the main reason that I can give so I do things live and sometimes I do them wrong and that's fun because that's the experience of looking at something and realizing that it's not as good as it could be and that you want to make something better and then fixing it to make it better and that's that's I think the fun part about Minecraft so I like to do that with you guys so there I do do a lot of changes here and there and, and that's I hope something you guys enjoy so uh, we're gonna go ahead and break this down even though it's pretty much broken um, oh boy okay we got the carpenter blocks which are a real pain in the and the, and the batooks, uh, but we'll take it down. I'll be right back in just a little bit We'll go ahead and do some building and figure out something else to do in this lovely lovely episode. See you guys in just a bit Okay, so welcome back. I uh, cleared out the whole wall here except this area Because it has a special place in my heart uh, Actually, oh, can I grab this before? Thank you And we're just gonna fix this for now because it pains me to see it broken and and destroyed That'll do that'll do for now. Oh boy um but we're gonna keep that going on for now, but I've decided what I want to do with this area here And if you look outside you see that we have this lower area of deliciousness um, And I was thinking about replicating that on the other side now the issue is we have this big room here uh, That we're working with so what I've decided to do is actually create uh, Almost like a patio. It's gonna be a huge patio uh, And it's gonna be a garden so think like the end of Kill Bill Volume 1, um, maybe like a Chinese style garden, it's going to be very, very, uh, very cute. Uh, it's actually going to be shorter here. Uh, it's not going to be shorter, Whoa, because that way it won't block out the rain. Uh, that's what we're trying to do here, that was my main inspiration for such an event, is to block out the rain. Because rain, rain, go away, you smell like, oh shoot. Okay, good. I didn't. I didn't bleed in there. Whew. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, we have two hundred thousand cobblestone in here. So, and and I do try and use cobblestone as much as possible in my builds. Uh, so, if you're ever wondering why I'm using cobblestone instead of a nicer block, the more I get to use cobblestone, the happier I am because I have infinite cobblestone. Well, not infinite, but in terms of our relation of the amount of resources we use, infinite. Uh, and besides, I'm not gonna actually have this be cobblestone um, on the surface of the garden. This is just going to give us the base for the garden to happen. Um, everything will be one block deep. So any little rivers or whatnot will be one block deep, etc, etc. We will put grass up on here, um, and I have that nice grass, and that's why I put silk touch on my excavator. So now I may go to the flower area and just snag up all that really, really pretty grass and uh, be good to go. So I'm really excited about that. So we're going to Extend this all the way. Um, just do this. Just take two seconds to do. Not very long. And kind of think about how we want this to happen. I'm definitely going to want some streams. Um, definitely going to want some some trees. I'm thinking of just having a mainstream go down like right the like right down the middle. Um, which we can we can plan for that. Oh, uh, we can 100% plan for that. And this is going to go all the way out to here. Oops. And no farther. Just break this, break this, and this is going to give us a lot of room to just make it look pretty, uh, which is nice. We like to, we like to make things look pretty. Uh, it's one one of our things we do, and I'm probably going to finish it off camera, but either way, you guys get to enjoy the the preliminary creation of our outside garden. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm wondering though, however, if we want to make it flat or if we actually want it to incline a little bit. Huh? Like what if? What if we do, like, at this point right here, it inclines. And what it does is just like this, like an arcing incline, just like that. And then we break these bad boys. Uh, let's just follow the line. I think it went here and then here. Nope, and then here. Uh, let's just put a block here and there. And then it's going to... Oh, no, we messed up a little bit. Okay, cool. So just like that. So it's actually break all... Aha, we can use our big hammer of doom. Break. Oh! <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god, it's so useful. Like, I don't even know how I've gone so long without a hammer. It's like, this thing is the king. Look at this. Look at that. Would you have a look at this? Would you have a look at that? Hmm. Crazy. Oh, why did that not? What? Hey, bro, bro, Seth, bro, Chacho. Do you want to break or do you want to be a noob? 
Do you want to be a man or do you want to be a child? Um, okay, this should pop. That's amazing. Look at that. Have a look at that. Okay, cool. Um, and then we're going to break all this. Yeah, I think this will look really cool if it, if it heads down. It'll just give it some more dimension. And again, these are the things that we get to do on camera. You get to see happen live. You get to see my brain workings. You get to you get to fiddle with my brains and, and put your put your fingers in my brain and feel how mushy and gushy it is. Just got weird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just brought up the brains. Brought up the brains. Made it all weird and stuff. All right, cool. We're going to leave that here. So this is going to go like so. Maybe we can even pop it out here. Just like that. Cool. Cool. Um, and then do, yeah, kind of like a cute little pond in here. Have like lily pads and all sorts of really cool things. Uh, this wants to. This guy wants to go want one more. And then just like this. Fantastic. That worked out. What do you guys think? I think this worked out. I think this worked out pretty good so far. I'm liking, I'm liking how this is going to turn out, I think. We're obviously going to have to fit it with some a nicer uh, topside stuff, but for now, we're planning it out. And again, either way, if I lose cobblestone by breaking it with the hammer and it drops down and I let it despawn or whatever, I don't really care because I have over 200,000 cobblestone. So we are not worried at all of our cobblestone, good friends. All right, there we go. So check it out. This is going to be our patio area. Uh, should be very cool. We're probably going to fit that with stairs. That's probably going to happen. Can I make stairs out of this stuff? I actually don't know. I've never really tried taking chisel blocks and making <gasps> Oh, it turns it back into normal stone stairs. And we can't chisel that, can we? Big moment. No. I'm, I'm pretty salty about that. Well, what we can do, have no fear. Uh, what we can do is we go like this and we type in saw. We get our lovely, lovely saw. Because you guys know I'm loving that diamond saw right now. I'm loving those forged micro blocks. They make me happy in the face. And then we can go ahead and artificially make our own stairs. Because we're gangster, just like that. Uh, bada bing and bada boom and then we go slab and we go one two three four five and then we go pillar and that should do it so that way we come here and we go a bing boom we can actually just do like that 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 and like that. Uh oh, we've had a little bit of a mish mishu. We're going to just put a forged slab on there and boom. And then a one, a two, a three, and whatever. Cool. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Uh, I might want to push them actually in one and then slab them up. So it actually looks like it, it's it's in you know like engulfed. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm probably gonna do just a little bit of work on this off camera, so you guys don't watch the whole thing. We'll be right back in just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put some grass down, and we'll uh, we'll get working. Okay, so I did a little bit of work off camera, and by a little bit I mean it's almost done, kind of. Uh, but check it out. So we have ourselves our little garden. A uh, couple things that you might want to notice right away is uh, different types of trees. Really cool. We got uh, orange autumn leaves, a nice apple tree just for more apples, of course, to consume. Can never have enough. Uh, two of them actually placed here. Uh, we got a magic tree that's not growing. I don't think this is giving it enough room to blossom. Uh, so I'd like to get out, oh, Jeebus. Um, we'll just get up here. Okay, cool. <laughs> Oops. Um, place, I guess, normal dirt block down for now. Um, let's get this bad boy right, oh, right here. Why not? Why not? Fill it nice, quite, quite nicely. Um, so check it out. We also have these, uh, pillars that kind of look like it's overgrown a little bit. Not overgrown, but like it's actually planted. I think it gives a nice look to it, uh, depending on obviously which block it's connecting with. I switched, uh, the blocks, a normal dirt block, and then obviously the, uh, whatever that fancy, fancy dirt, fancy, fancy dirt. Um, and then I also have these glowstone pillars, uh, which is a dirt post and then four notches put together. I think that hangs quite nicely. I, I do like the dirt post better 
honestly, uh, when it comes down to it. So I've been switching those back. But so just like this, and there you go. So I think that looks pretty sweet. I'm not a big fan of how these look, so I'll probably take them down. But for now, they're there. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we need to fill this thing up with water. Uh, to do that, we're going to probably need to get a whole bunch of ice. And I don't think I've found an ice biome yet, which is a little unfortunate. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to get. <laughs> That's really, really, really far. So I'm going to go ahead and do that little bit of an adventure. Uh, fly on over there, probably get back in the morning. Um, and we'll go ahead and place that ice down, break it, and see what else we can do with this lovely, lovely little area. Maybe get a little meadow going and maybe a waterfall coming off just the side here. Should be a lot of fun. We'll be right back. Oh, I almost jumped off. <laughs> I have done that way too many times. Wolfles, don't die. Um, and it's got 45 levels. Jeebus. Jeebus. And uh, I'll be back in just a minute. We get all that ice, that, that lovely, lovely ice. We got our silk uh, pick. Our silk touch pickaxe, not our silk pick touch axe. And we'll be right back in just a second. Okay, that took uh, that took two minutes. And by two minutes, I mean an hour. Uh, not really. Uh, but I am, I'm here, I'm back, and we are plumping down some ice. They're actually melting, but I wanted to break as much on camera as I could because what's better than breaking ice? Well, I'm kind of specific because I just grabbed like four stacks of. Oh no. Oh, that sound. So delicious. Stop melting ice. I want to break you. Stop leaving me so I can break your heart. All right, here we go. Bang and wee. Oh no. Oh no. Do I have to like actually melt it in this game? What? Melt initiate. I don't get to enjoy the pleasure of actually breaking all the ice. Oh my god, I'm so salty right now. Alright, well, this will all melt sooner enough. Sooner enough? Sooner, soon enough. We will, we will light this place up with many torches and wait for this all to melt. Oh my god, I'm kind of sad about this. I'm not going to lie. Well, hopefully it comes out with a nice natural looking feel to it. And I'm wondering what we can do with these ice shards. Uh, can we, like, put them together and make ice? Okay, so, yeah, we make ice back. So, ice is, like, super replenishable, which is cool, I guess. Um, but, yeah, this is kind of our little pond area. We're going to get some lily pads, and we're going to place those lily pads in there. I don't think I have any lily pads right now. I know I have the flowers that go on the lily pads, but I don't think I actually have the li First world problems, okay? That's pretty much what's going on right now. It's the major first world problem, so deal with it, bro, because I'm going to wreck you in the face with my ice melting tactics. Uh, and this thing has still not grown, which makes me sad. But maybe it just takes a... Grow! Darn it! I would give you light. Um, but I'm, I'm loving this little garden thing. Let's, let's see how it looks from far at night. Wow. Fantastic. We are going to cover up the sides, though, with something. I'm not sure. Maybe like a quartz or... I don't know. Oh, that looks... I love that slime tree. It looks great. That looks great. Um, I might also cover the green up. The congealed green slime with oh okay all right all right feel me right now feel are you feeling me guys guys are you feeling me right now because i'm feeling me right now let's just see if we can do a little bit of magic let's see if we can do a little bit of magic we're gonna put this ice away by the way as well as the ice shards and the dirt and the zombie head and the pillars uh where is this okay you guys feeling magical you guys feeling magical? I hope so. Because I'm feeling magical. Alright. Oh, I always drop that saw. Okay, so we're going to take these magic wood plank covers. And we're going to take the congealed green slime here. And we're going to make it pretty. Like, this is what it should look like. Magic! Oh, that looks so sick! That looks so sick! I love it! Oh, man! Uh, the only thing that we could do is perhaps just get a couple of these strips going uh, up and down just to give it more 
just to fill it out here just like that so it actually looks like tree and not like it's uh, planks covering it and oh my god oh my damn we just pulled some magical stuff seriously some magical stuff this is ultra beast uh, and by ultra beast I mean it's pretty cool like I'm not gonna toot my own horn too much but I'm pretty pretty happy about this I think that that's like honestly this is why I like building with you guys like live man that's the coolest part is doing things like that and just being like, yo, this is a good idea, and then it turning out to actually work. Um, anyways, so this is actually melting pretty good. Uh, hopefully they all melt. I don't really want any ice at all, but I can, you know, I have some, maybe, you know, get a flamethrower or something. Can we make a flamethrower? Please tell me we can make a flamethrower. Flame. Living flame, flame string, spawn flame imp. I am disappointed in you, attack the B team. You are not as mischievous and dangerous as I thought you were. Uh, but either way, this is the cool little garden, uh, our little serenity, our home away from home. We are going to maybe have this come off the end here, I'm thinking. Uh, hmm, not really sure. We'll let this completely melt, and then we'll dis we'll decide what we want to do with the, with the stream. Perhaps even pull, like, a... I want to do these three blocks right here. So if we do one, two... Three. That's pretty cool. And then we just do this and like that. Oh, uh, please fall nicely. <gasps> okay. Don't want you to be there. How can I move you over? Okay. How can I move you over? Just, just one here. See, it's falling a little bit early. I gotta put just a little. Ah! Oh! Revenge? Is that you? No, that's not revenge. That's just a normal spider. Where's revenge? Where's revenge? You're still here, buddy. Okay. Hey, revenge. How you doing? You want? You want some? You want some food? You want some food? Okay. Love you. All right. So we're gonna be right back with our chef Wiffles and end the episode because that's all the time we have for today. We've made some pretty awesome progress. I like the way this looks a lot. I'm very excited. And we're really, it's really coming together. We're going to fill the, the sides there with that, our clear glass, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what color yet. Maybe we'll just go full clear. But overall, I think that looks pretty awesome. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go make something to eat. All right, Chef Wolfers here, or else you know the guy in the hat, or the man with the monocle and the wonderful smile. We are here to cook our thing of the day. Well, as suggested, oh, hold on, hold on, one second. As suggested by Matthew Watkins, he says... Make a bacon mushroom cheeseburger. It's all nice and bold and everything like that. So, Matthew, I will make close to it. I, I can make a burger. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think... Oh, I took a screenshot. Thank God. I don't think I can make anything else, uh, unfortunately. But we can make a burger. So, we're going to take our bread. We're going to go ahead and get bread slices. Put bread slice up here and a lovely steak in the middle. We have ourselves a hamburger. Uh, the only issue is if we want to make anything else, there's no cheeseburger, nothing of the sorts. If we see what, other, what else we can make with those bread slices, hmm, doesn't really tell us much. So unfortunately, we're going to have to settle for a hamburger. Now, I don't know if um, you could maybe put the the bacon on top or something like that or, or or whatnot but unfortunately i think we're stuck with oh what is what did i, what did I just type there it was bacon mushrooms i tried yeah we're unfortunately stuck with just our lovely cheeseburger or hamburger no cheese on it that's true it's just a normal hamburger how sad but oh and i just i just ate a whole bunch okay we gotta run around Woo! so you know what we could do we can we could oh we're gonna have to eat and then poop so we're gonna we're gonna get hungry we're gonna get hungry again let's Let's get let's get hungry. I wonder if we if we fart a whole bunch, we'll actually get hungrier. That's just that's terrible. But so funny. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that did not make us hungry at all. At all. All right, well, I'll be right back when we're a little bit hungry cuz who knows how long it's going to take. I will I will fly around to make it happen faster. I should not have eaten those yucky apples, man. I got all these really nice That's hamburger. Why would I eat apples? So I'll be right back in just a second. When Chef Wolfles is hungry and can taste his own fluid that he tried so hard to make. Oh, baby, look how that looks. It looks so pretty. Needs some work, needs an actual hull, but other than that, it is looking great. And we are hungry, so let's get into the kitchen. Let's turn into uh, Chef Wolfles yet again. 
Morph activate. Okay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> All right. So we are now really, really hungry. Let's go ahead and eat this bad boy. Up oh, and whoa. Cheeseburger delight. So there you have it, guys. That's going to be the episode. Don't forget to leave a comment down below with the food you think I should make next. We'll do the next episode as well as a whole bunch of other things. If you enjoy, make sure that like button. Oh, yeah. We got it. We got to poop because we just had a cheeseburger and it's just. God. Oh, my Lord. Anyways, we'll see you guys later. Take care and stay hot and spicy. Bye-bye.